been seven weeks since we last saw you in the Dragon Chat. How are you feeling from an injury point of view? Yeah, I'm very excited to get back out of the field. Um, I've had two, two good weeks of training and I'm feeling good, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting back out on the field. Yeah. Obviously, seven weeks ago we set uh, the injury came in. Was this always a kind of target date to come back, or has it been very much week by week playing by year? Um, week by week, really. Uh, it's been kind of frustrating because it's been feeling good, and I've done a session, and then it's kind of flared up. So it's been kind of gradual and just week by week, really. Um, back for Europe would have been nice, but um, nah, it's good now. I'm back playing this week, and hopefully, fully fit now. I'm ready for the Christmas games as well. I know you travelled with the squad to Castro, obviously saw the game, that's two European games so far that we've had. How do you rate the team's performance in those two and obviously looking ahead now with four big games to come to try and qualify out of that group? Yeah, you know, I think um, we've taken our competition very well. We played really well at home against Sale. I think the boys scored well, a bonus point victory out there and um, a lot of tries scored. And again, I'm in Castro, I think we're very unlucky. Uh, we played very well and I think we deserve to win out there. So, um, you know, it's huge positives to take from that game. And, progress on for obviously for these games now and then the second round of Europe. Obviously a couple of Pro 12 games now and then that game against Pau on the weekend of the 12. What do the lads need to do between now and then to best prepare for that game and make sure that they go back to winning ways of the competition? Um, yeah, to be honest I think we got the league now which is which is our focus so it's, it's focusing on the league now for the next few games and then when Pau does turn up um, for, for Europe then we'll focus on that for the time but um, you know, it used to be exciting to go out there and play and, and have them here as well. You know, they got. They just signed Conrad Smith and um, Slade as well from New Zealand, so they got some good players there. So um, I think everyone's really excited towards it and um, looking forward to the challenge from them. And looking ahead to the Pro 12, obviously starting off tomorrow night away in Edinburgh, that was a game which we'll all remember from last year as a quarter final of a challenge, or the semi final rather of a Challenge Cup. What are your preparations like when you're going away to face a team like that? Um, you know, last year in semi final in Edinburgh, we, uh, as a squad, we hadn't really experienced anything like that before, so I think we've learned a great deal from that game. Um, Obviously, the result what was we didn't want the result that happened, but um, you know, I think we are a young squad here, and I think everyone learned a lot from that. So um, I think looking forward to if that happens again this year, I think we'll be well, more well prepared. And obviously, just lastly, with yourself coming back from injury, we know the injury list is getting slightly smaller, and we've got a couple of other players coming into that back line. What what are your expectations when all the guys are, are fit and well in that back line? Yeah, as obviously a lot of bodies have stepped up and I think they performed well so far for us um, this year with a lot of injuries but obviously you've got the likes of Hallam, um, Tyler and, and Jack Dixon coming back who performed well for us last year and you know, Hallam seemed to be performing well for Wales and, and Tyler so there'll be a lot of competition in the squad and even though we're young I think a lot of those players have got uh, a lot of experience in, in the of rugby so it should be good, um, good competition for the squad. Tom, it's great to see you back and good luck for tomorrow Thanks night. Thanks very much.